Hey guys, Terry Red here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a, a bit of a walkthrough uh, of my latest uh, table update, uh, which is F14 Tomcat Afterburner, uh, Pin Event V2, and Fizz X. So uh, basically, uh, a couple of years ago, I think it was, I released uh, an Afterburner mod and a Pin Event mod to the Ultimate Pro version of this table that was made years ago. And uh, so this update is an update to my previous uh, mod. So this is now going to have Pin Event V2 and support all its features. It's going to have fleet mechanical sounds. It's going to have physics, physics, which for those who don't know, it's basically NFOSI physics adapted to future pinball. Uh, and, uh, you know, th then of course, uh, a bunch of table updates I've also gone through since then to update the lighting and, you know, uh, uh art and various other things, you know, so, uh, that, that's what, all this updates about you know so i'm just gonna go through a kind of a, just an overview of that and play a little bit and just show you some things so as far as the physics again jay lou you know he, he he's the one who's ma made uh phys -X and he's done a fantastic job he's been constantly updating it revising it refining it you know i think we're on version 1.12 now uh as of this table and uh yeah he's just been doing a fantastic job and uh for, you know phys -X, it's both table code and updating the table itself so, uh, you know, like a, the table code is a big portion of it. Uh, it's a, a, a big chunk of code that J. Lou made. And then you have to go through and do some extra bits for like the slings and other things throughout the table script uh, to make it all work correctly. Uh, and then you have to come into the table editor here and, uh, you know, uh, uh, make sure the slope is adjusted uh, instead of it being like 7.5, I think it was on this table before. Now it's actually at 5.5. That's how much of a difference there is in uh, the the way the physics works. And then you have to go through, make sure the flippers are set up right. You have to go through the slings here, add all these uh, rubber models that I'm clicking on right now. Uh, these are invisible rubber models that actually collide with the ball. Uh, and the, the bands here as well. And also the these uh, diverters that we add. All of that is what actually collides with the ball. Uh, everything you visually see is for show, you know, that, that's part of adding physics to the table. Uh, same goes for, uh, like the, for the slings, for all rubbers around the table. If you have drop targets, we add extra stuff for that as well. And as well as the bumper, we replace the bumper with newer models and newer skirts and get rid of the older methods, like little miniature EM kickers, you know, and it's all much more controlled and works so much better. Now your slingshots have adjustable sensitivity so that they'll go off based on the ball speed. Uh, you know, just all sorts of things that allows it to play so much better. The future pinball flippers are gone. It is so nice, guys. It's such a huge difference. And you guys can tune it the way you want. You know, you don't have to settle for whatever I've done on here. I've given you multiple PhysX profiles you can try out, but you can then use a, you can use a PhysX tweaker to try changing settings to see how they uh, affect things to however you like and then update the table script based on that. You know, it's all in there and uh, it, it just is so great, guys. Uh, and as well, you can see all these models. I'll, I'll talk about this later, but all these insert models uh, th that's part of what I've been adding to tables is going through and adding actual insert mesh models with uh, Schlabber 34's Fantastic uh, insert images. And then I add normal maps to those. And it's a huge difference. You add decals on top of that. It looks so much better than using just shaped images, uh, image lights from the playfield texture. It, it, this is a night and day difference, guys. Uh, and the other thing I'll point out since I had this one before I load up the table is, uh, guys, Please read the install instructions that come with the table. They all put all Pinavet V2 tables come with install instructions that have everything you need. Don't be overwhelmed by it because it's extra info for all the all features. If you don't use all the features, you don't have to read everything, but go through the essentials. If you're having a problem, read the FAQ at the very end. You know, so like here's the actual install instructions. If you go right to the very uh, bottom portion, if you're having problems, Run the table in debugger mode. You get all this stuff that pops up and it helps you out. Need to know more stuff? Well, hell, we got a fact here. Frequently asked questions. Literally, you know, the first one, this one right here answers so many questions that I get so often, you know, like it's all right here. But then if you go through, the common stuff comes up. If you, you know, for some reason didn't update your BAM settings correctly or, you know, you, you overwrote them or whatever. And then now you have stuff like this popping up or the Future Pinball logo watermark is up. You know, all of it's answered in here, guys. You know, like, so 
save yourself some hassle and, and go through the fact. You know, it, it's just so much easier, guys. You'll, you'll save yourself so many problems, so many hassles by doing that, you know. And updating BAM is super easy, guys. You know, you go to the requirements here. All the links are there in order what you need to do. And then patching it after you update BAM and then copy the config files back. You patch BAM and Future Pinball for four gigabyte access. You know, it's all in here. It's not hard, guys. It really is. I'll probably do a separate video on that. You know, some kind of quick tips video or something, you know, just so that people are not so overwhelmed or worried about that. So I guess uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start to sucker up and, you know, go through a little walkthrough tour now that I've uh, yabbered about all that, you know. So uh, I, I do believe this was a, a table that was originally a rough version was built by, I think, Ian a long time ago. Uh, and then eventually uh, Chaos and Slam Tilt uh, completely overhauled that and built a complete good, nice table. And then uh, it was updated by Slam Tilt for his Ultimate Pro version. And that, that was out years ago. And then I updated and modded that. And part of what I wanted to do is seeing this table, the original table, you know, even the visual pinball table or the actual real physical table. You know, I love the theme. I love the layout. I love the idea. But I absolutely despise, sorry, not despise, I just do not like the original sound on this table. It was limited by the 80s technology, I get that, but the sound sampling is absolutely atrocious on this table. It is, it is horrible, guys. You know, I, and I'm, I, sound is a big deal for me when it comes to virtual pinball. So I have, a, I, I, the visual pinball table by Flupper is gorgeous, but man, that ROM sound is absolutely atrocious. So that's part of why I really wanted to, you know, update this table. Uh, it was already updated with uh, the modern music or uh, the original music that you can toggle back and forth between. So I decided to add to that by adding Afterburner music. Afterburner is one of my favorite arcade games. We had the cockpit version at our, our, all of our arcades for me growing up in the 80s, and it was awesome. I love that game, love the music. And for this table, I've always wanted to put Afterburner music on. It just made sense. So when I updated it for pin event and a putback, I decided, hey, well, let's throw the afterburner music on there and then throw an afterburner option for the putback. So let me just turn this down a little bit. So yeah, you know, like uh, it's, yeah, yeah, I'll turn that all the way down. So you know what I mean? So that, that was a big thing for me, you know, throw afterburner music on here and then, you know, and then update the pup, my pup pack to accommodate that as an option, you know. But then for this new update that I'm just showing you now, now I went through and overhauled the, pretty much the entire table, you know. So I'm just going to kind of talk a little bit about that. But, you know, as far as uh, things, people who have uh, contributed to this table, this is a perfect example. This table is a great example about how, you know, the whole community, and when I say community, I mean future pinball and visual pinball, you know, some people like to separate them and, you know, like I, I, I'm, I, you know, I, I don't like doing that, you know, like you've got great creators on both camps that help each other out, you know, are more than happy to share their work, their creations or assets with others, you know, we help each other out and this table is a great example of what can be done when you do that, you know, so, uh, so as an example, the original table had a not so great play field scan. It was actually pretty rough, to be honest, uh, you know, on this one. So uh, years ago, I think Ganja Farmer, uh, I don't know if he did his own table or if he helped with a, a table update on Visual Pinball, but he did a complete play field uh, redraw. Like this, this is a beautiful play field scan. Well, it's not, I don't know if it's as much of a scan or if it's a scan with him completely redrawing a lot of it by hand, but he, he did a complete play field redraw of this thing and did a beautiful job. And when I updated the, my previous version of this years ago, uh, with the pin event version, uh, pin event mod, uh, I showed him a video of it and I asked him, you know, would it be possible for me to use his uh, playfield te uh, redraw texture that he made for the visual pinball version, and he thought, and he saw the video of uh, the pin event mod I did on the, on the future pinball one, and that was a really cool project. And he was so awesome that he gave me a complete clean version of the playfield uh, image, no no lighting added to it, no shadows, no nothing, because I, that's exactly what I needed. Because Bam's going to add all that itself, so I don't need to kind of you know do all that you know and it wouldn't have necessarily matched up and looked right anyway so he was awesome man like so that, that's one a great example ganja farmer man thanks man like this looks so awesome another example is are these gorgeous inserts that i keep harping on about so these are 3d mesh inserts look how beautiful these look man like these are gorgeous 
you know, all throughout the table, I added these. Like, these apps look absolutely amazing, you know. It, 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 before, you just had flat shaped image lights from the Playfield texture. And that's what I had in my previous update. I added uh, the texture images, but I didn't add the mesh objects. So for this, I've been doing what I've been doing on all my other updates. I've added the mesh objects. You have to, uh, you know, make them fit exactly to the table size. So that's a, a lot of trial and error to get each one of them shaped perfectly to match up perfectly. And then I use Schlabber 34's fantastic, gorgeous insert images. Uh, they, they just look so great, man. And then I added uh, normal maps to them and then uh, add decals on top, you know. Uh, I do believe the apron image is from JP Salas. Uh, and uh, the plastics, I think, are from uh, the older version from, I think it was Ian and W Tiger, I think it was. That, uh, so that, that's where the plastic images came from. Uh, uh, I do, and uh, I'm trying to think of, uh, I'm trying to think of who else contributed on that, but yeah, uh, oh, Puma uh, did the topper up there, the topper models, uh, you know, just a lo lot of contributors. I, if I forgot anyone, man, uh, sorry about that, but you know, like, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I th I, it's a great example of, you know, when everyone comes together and is more than happy to share, their, their, their stuff, you know, like it, it just makes everyone able to make better creations, you know, and now I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the updates I've done myself, obviously the mesh inserts, uh, adding that playfield uh, mesh or playfield image, I had to do some adjustments to make that work, uh, you know, all the uh, decals, I had to make new decals for the entire table, including this guy in the center here. I had to redraw that as well to make that line up and match nicely so that it's, you know, over top of the actual, uh, object because there's nothing there right so it has to all match up nicely uh i threw in some side blades with some clouds in there just to make it look nicer you know because it was just black before and it really actually like look at this like it makes the glass or plastic i'm not sure what it is in the real table stand out so much nicer and it looks so nice you know like look at that like i, I don't know, i just think it looks so much nicer uh and then i add like gradient shading to the corners to make it look much more realistic because uh you know it just it gives a much more realis a realistic look to it because uh, the lighting sometimes just makes all of it look too lit up, you know, and, and I mean, you don't have any lighting up here at all, right? So you want it to kind of gradient into there and to look more realistic because that little glow you see reflection on the wall, that's one of the dynamic lights, one of the GI dynamic lights on the table. I've got one, two, three, four of them, I think, active at one time. Uh, I also had, uh, added... Well, there, there were some shadow maps already on there, but I updated them and I added shadow maps for all the lights, like all the flashers, everything on here, which makes such a huge difference once you're in gameplay. And one thing a lot of the purists of this table who, you know, love the original and don't want it changed, they're going to be like, what the hell is this RGB lighting on here? And yes, that is something I added on. I wanted to add RGB lighting to, the, to this table. It was actually one of my first uh, attempts at that to do not just RGB lighting, but also animated RGB lighting effects uh, so that when certain actions happen, like when missiles fly, you know, they all turn white and do an effect. When there's an explosion, they it turn, it goes, you know, uh, orange and explodes out, you know, or uh, turns green during uh, ball locks or, you know, just all sorts of various timed animated RGB effects that, you know, I think look, turned out great on this table. Like, you know, it was my first time trying to do it and, mess around with new types of code to control all that and everything and you know and uh so this is my first attempt at that so that's a big change that some people who love the original probably hate but you know what i'm not about recreating the original table you know that's not what i'm doing here that you know i wanted to add after Baby music uh there was already awesome modern music and videos already added i wanted to add my own pup back i wanted to add uh, modern pup displays and text you know you can uh see it on the back glass and then the the hud there all that's being streamed in via pup stream uh, as part of a pin event feature, you know, like it, just all these things I wanted to add for my personal preferences. You know, I'm not trying to recreate the real deal here, guys, you know. So, yeah, so those are some of the, the, the big things that I've overhauled a lot of the table and the geometry and whatnot as best I could to try to make it flow better with the newer physics. You know, it's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect, but it plays a lot better. You know, the GI lighting was, you know, updated. Everything was updated, you know, to make it just look so much nicer. Uh, and I also added, you'll find out, you'll see soon, uh, some uh, real beacon lighting that rotates around the entire room that really adds a nice effect. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, okay. Now that I've talked about
you know, a lot of that stuff. Uh, let's just go in and try doing some gameplay, and we'll maybe I'll yammer some more about that. So, <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn the volume up here a little bit. Uh, all right. So now you have three choice. You have multiple choices for music uh, and videos. You have uh, the uh, modern option, which is what you're seeing right now. Uh, it's gonna be modern music and uh, modern videos, uh, or you have uh, original, which is modern videos with Williams music. You have the option of Afterburner, which is uh, modern videos with Afterburner music. And then you have the option of Arcade, which is Afterburner music with Afterburner videos. So I'm gonna show you all those options uh, as I go through and we'll just uh, play and have some fun with this stuff. All right. So this is what, that's what I was talking about with uh, the, the, the beacon lighting. Uh, if it, you can't quite see it, but if you look in the whole room, you can see I've got uh, two beacons and a BAM mini play field spinning those around. That makes a really cool lighting effect. I, I really love how that turned out. Uh, and that's going to happen throughout the game. So now that I've inserted a coin, we'll start the sucker up and we're ready to go. Now one, one difference this table had uh, already before I even touched it was it got rid of the plunger. And it put an auto plunger on there. And honestly, it, with the way this new one works, I think that's perfect. All right, so you already saw right off the bat, when I launched the ball, the, the inserts turned yellow and flung up. Uh, you saw it going white. And there's some more examples right there. So there you go, man. Like the lighting already, you can see, is a huge difference. So I'm just going to play around a little bit. Ah! And there you go, got some nice animated dream lighting effects. Alright, so we got Tomlet. And uh, you'll notice that you've got a little mini display here. That's an option. You don't have to have that. That's a pup stream option. That's a, you can change that in pin event settings. It's going to just show the same thing that, you know, uh, the pup pack on the back glass or the full DD is going to show. And you can also have it shown on the apron as well. Those are options. You don't have to have those. No! All right. Uh, I was trying to do that alley pass there. <laughs> ah, nah, nah. Uh, I gotta get used to nudging on the keyboard. <laughs> guy there. Let's see if I can get him. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, man, I suck. Alright. Let's go through this. There we go. Almost made it. Ah! Let's see if I can get her up there. Oh, shit. Ah. Ah, no! Oh, too many tilts. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't catch. All right, we got some Mighty Wings jamming in the background there. All right, so 
that's the way it is uh the way it is with uh the modern music and the modern pup pack uh so we'll just start playing uh So I'll just wait till I get held on to here for a second. Oh, damn it. Alright, so now if you want at any time, whether it's in a track mode or any or uh, during gameplay, you can change the music by uh, the magna but magna save buttons or a special one two key button. So if you want the original Williams music, you can have that if you want. Not my personal preference, but you know, I know some people love that. But my personal preference, of course, is... Oh yeah, baby. Afterburner. I, I love the soundtrack of this game. You know, for something that came from the 80s, it just sounds amazing. Sega's music was always awesome back then, but this particular game, God, I love it, man, you know? So, therefore, you can pl keep playing as you were before. But now you got the different music with the modern display. here I'm just let, playing a little bit here ah oh, come on and it does change up throughout gameplay you know uh, it's not just the one song it's all the afterburner music And you can see the lighting, you know, the, the, the updated lighting with the Raycast shadows looks absolutely gorgeous on this, man. Like, it, it's such a huge difference. But you have to, you can't, it's not an automatic thing. You have to go in, add shadow maps and make sure they're updated correctly. You have to make sure certain lights don't use Raycast shadows that you don't want to have that happen. And then having all the flashers uh, using uh, Raycast shadows, it looks so good. Now I'm going to change to I'm going to change to uh, the last option, which is now you can choose arcade, which is afterburner music with an old afterburner pup display. There you go. Get in there, yo. I gotta watch that tilt me. Now, I was tempted to redo all the artwork to try to make it look more like a, you know, a bit pixel kind of thing, but it just didn't look good no matter how I tried doing it. It just honestly looked horrible, so I just kept that all the same. <laughs> There. A little alley 
past there. And you can do live catches and drop catches. I'm not, just not doing very good at it right now. Now, one thing I noticed, you can do like, uh, you know, back, uh, uh, backhands or uh, post pass and other tricks. But the one thing to remember is these are dynamic flippers now. They're not, before a future pinball, it was always full on, full off, full power, no power. Whereas now, the, the amount of power, the omega, the angle, all that would depend on how long you let off of the flipper and then how long you hold down the button when you press it again. And it also depends on the speed of your button or keyboard controller as well. It, it makes a huge, huge difference. You know, my gaming keyboard sucks butt. Like, it's terrible for that stuff, you know. Whereas on my uh, cabinet, you know, the controller on there is much better. I can do, like, m much better uh, tap passes, post passes, you know, live cat. You know, all that stuff is so much better. But so if, you, if you're finding you're having a, 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 it plays a little different, like certain things like post passing are a little harder to do compared to old future pinball physics well that's because you got to get used to you know actually letting go of the button longer and then holding it longer when you actually make your uh, shots Ooh, the general time to die come on get in there Oh no! Too many tilts. Uh, what a dumbass. Wow, that was, that was an anticlimactic. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, you can see that that center jewel, that green one looks so much nicer now. Uh, so yeah, I mean. Uh, I'm going to turn that down a little bit, but yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's really all I wanted to do is just talk a little bit about the updates and how things are going and, you know, and, uh, you know, how this looks in place. Uh, again, guys, you know, if you want to make changes to the physics, you can, you absolutely can go into the table script. The options are all there, make changes there, or you can, uh, if you want, if you enable the physics tweaker tool, which I'll show you right now, you can bring that up and uh, make changes while playing the game. They're all here, you know, uh, it, it's a very quick and easy way to try to change options. Uh, you can also change uh, the profiles if you want dynamically while playing as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm using uh, the, the key to change that. You have to enable that in the table script. Read the install instructions, they tell you all about it. Uh, just make sure that you're only doing it to uh, an F FPS settings that matches what you have in the table script. So my, by default, it's at 592. That's how I'm doing all the tables now. I originally didn't have it that way, but all the new updates are gonna all have 592 FPS for the physics settings by default now. Uh, so if you change to a different profile, you know, make sure it matches whatever you had in the table script. So this is the default, but if you wanna have bouncier flippers, for example, you can change to that, try playing it, see if you like that, if you like that, then go back to the table script and make that change permanently. Uh, and then again, you can make your physics changes any way you want. You know, that's all. I just wanted to bring that up because uh, it's a tool that's there for anyone who wants to tinker around to see what the different settings are. Because maybe you're like, well, I wish this played just a little bit differently. How can I do that? And then that's how you can uh, do it while playing it in real time. You don't have to go change stuff in the script and then go back and forth all the time. So yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because it's, you know, really great stuff. It, it, you know, it's so much easier to make uh, settings for your own personal preference that way. So anyways, that's good. coming to the end of this video. Uh, this is almost the, the la well, it, this is either going to be the last or the second last of these pin event updates tables that, you know, I've already modded for pin event on the older versions, updating them to pin event V2 now. Uh, and then whatever table updates I've thrown in along the way, uh, as well as PhysX, 
So this is going to be out very, very soon. Uh, I might update Retro Flare BAM Edition, uh, you know, the, 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 the original one. Uh, I don't know for sure I'm going to do that or not since I'll eventually be doing Retro Flare 2. But if I do do that, that would be the next one. If I don't do that, then I'm going to be not releasing anything for quite a long time because I will be working on Silent Hill again finally after it's been almost a year. Uh, I, while I'm still recovering from my stroke, still waiting for heart surgery, I'm doing much better now than I was at, back then at least. Because back then, geez, uh, I, could, I couldn't even get off a chair without falling over. You know what I mean? Whereas at least now I can do stuff in the evenings at a short amount of time when I'm feeling better. And then, you know, it's just for Silent Hill, it's going to take a long time to update that sucker. So, uh, so if you don't see anything from me for a while, that's the reason why, guys. You know, I'm going to be working on Silent Hill. I'll, I'll give updates eventually to that as it goes. Uh, you know, if you, do, if you do see a new video, don't think that means it's done. It just means, uh, you know, I'm making progress or just giving a status update or something. You know, so, uh, yeah. So, all right. No more yapping. Uh, enjoy the table when it's released, guys. Uh, hope you like it, you know. Uh, there's a gorgeous visual pinball version out there by Flupper, you know, that, that sucker's awesome, uh, you know, but this is the, the kind of updates I personally like, and that's why this table exists, you know, so enjoy both of them, man, you got awesome VP tables, you got awesome future pinball tables, you know, it, it's, a, it's a great time to be in the hobby, you know, just enjoy what everyone shares with us, it's, it's awesome stuff, guys, and that's all I gotta say, so see you later, bye.